What's good y'all? It's your girl Wavy A and I'm back with another Vlogmas video and I had to, I had to drop this gift ideas list. I know some of y'all is trying to think last minute what to get for somebody and I'm here to help, okay? Without further ado, let's get started because I got my notebook here and it's got all of the ideas that I wrote that is from like luxury to most expensive to the least non-expensive okay so we're gonna start off with advent calendars they are easy because they're like 20 to 30 gifts into one box and a good example of those are the dior advent the sephora advent oh and also if you love candles or the person that you're getting a gift they love candles get an advent calendar of the yankee candles oh my gosh when i tell you they come in clutch because most of the time they have like the big wick candles or the really miniature candles but you're getting more for your money and you have a lot of candles also if you are like a makeup girly you can try to find like the charlotte tilbury i think that's how you pronounce it they have an advent calendar as well and the mason margella has an advent calendar as well i'm not sure if the ysl beauty has an advent calendar i wouldn't be surprised if they do i'm trying to put y'all on because the advent calendars they be selling out quick okay they are really popular and a lot of people love getting those because you can open up one little gift for the entire month of december next category is perfumes i just now slowly started my perfume collection and when i tell you guys i'm getting addicted to it it's 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 nonsense okay i'm always smelling something new i'm always wanting a new perfume almost every month okay it's very addicting and a lot of the perfumes that i like that's also a good gift is the ysl illicit green top notch grown woman scent i wear this scent a lot it's not expensive y'all go ahead and get your girl some YSL Illicit Green perfume. The next perfume is Baccarat Rouge. Now this scent is unisex, so if you wanna get that for y'all mans, go ahead. But if y'all wanna get it for y'all selves, but then you wanna give it to your man, go for it because it smells good on any person who wears it. So it doesn't matter if you wanna get it for your man for yourself either way you're not gonna smell too manly you're not gonna smell too girly it's gonna smell good on anybody that's all i gotta say that's really on my list i've been eyeing it for so long and ever since i've smelled that scent i've been hooked on it i want it i've been wanting it for the longest hopefully i get it for christmas mm -hmm. Hopefully. Next scent you can get is Alien Goddess by Mugler. I have this one personally and this right here. I'm halfway done with the bottle and this is low-key my second bottle actually of that scent and it smells fantastic okay. It lasts a good amount of time almost the whole entire day. I don't have to reapply it after I put it on in the morning and it doesn't just break down and wear off throughout the day no matter if I'm sweating chilling in the house or just out and about i'm gonna smell good the entire time with that scent another good scent that i love is hypnotic poison by dior when i tell you when i first smelled this perfume at ulta i was like "Ooh, your girl's gotta get it and i got it i got it as a birthday gift wait no i actually got it as a christmas gift last year now that one right there is a head turner like every time i put that scent on people are breaking their necks like left and right because they want to know how I'm smelling good and I'll be like it's hypnotic poison and the bottle is so cute the packaging is really nice I really love the packaging I love the bottle who doesn't like cute bottles on their perfumes like I'm a sucker for good packaging next is a beauty products I don't wear makeup personally but for those who do wear makeup makeup brushes are a good gift for Christmas because you want to know why it's time to change the makeup brushes I don't want to see y'all with old makeup brushes next year like come on now let's go into the new year with some new makeup brushes Chanel has these compact mirrors that are so cute they're actually under a hundred dollars when I checked the last time and i've been wanting to have like a cute compact mirror for the longest and the chanel ones are so cute and it has the double c's on the actual front of the compact mirror and i think that's so cute to give somebody as a gift and that's also one thing i really want because it's affordable okay it's under a hundred dollars okay who doesn't need a compact mirror like come on now 
Come on, that's a cute little luxury item that anybody can afford. What can I say? The Fenty Beauty Body Butter. When I tell you that body butter smells so good, Rihanna did her thing with that one, especially the warm cinnamon limited edition kind too. I want that. I need it. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Like, it leaves your skin moisturized and who doesn't want to have moisturized skin during the winter time especially coming into the new year oh yeah i definitely want that on my list and just her beauty products in general like, one thing about me i'm gonna have a nice body lotion body something body balm whatever you want to call it but rihanna's fenty beauty body butter that's something that i desire to have and when i smelled it at sephora i fainted and i felt like i was on a cinnamon roll cloud okay that one right there i gotta have it it's a must have i gotta have it skincare products oh my goodness i'm a skincare girly if y'all did not know i love almost any type of skincare brand that you could think of, especially K-Beauty, Sunscreen, Dr. Dennis Gross, also Topicals, come on now, Innisfree, Beauty by Josen, like they never let me down. And if you don't know what to get a skincare person a gift, get them skincare products that you see in their bathroom because they're going to love it. Oh, last time that I checked, skincare products, especially the good quality ones that's good for sensitive skin, they are not cheap make a little skincare basket for christmas i'm just giving y'all ideas back to back like i got y'all a spa day i love just pampering myself if you guys have a person that's always up with their maintenance especially if they love facials a spa day is going to make their day because who doesn't like to get facials and getting massages is just being pampered all day like spa days you never go wrong with that robes oh my gosh i've been wanting to find a really nice robe and i haven't bought one yet because i'm kind of picky robes is really nice because you can just chill around the house and just feel all warm and fuzzy and luxurious in your robe especially if you got a towel warmer like i do I will put my robe in the towel warmer after I get out the shower and then just put it on, just feel all warm and fuzzy and just, uh, I need a robe, y'all. I need a robe. If y'all know any good robe recommendations, please drop it down in the comments down below because I need to get a robe ASAP. Just thinking about that. Satin pajama sets. Ooh, when I tell you satin pajama sets, you can never go wrong with that or silk whichever you prefer it feels so nice on your skin oh my gosh especially after you put all of your body oils your body butters and you're just all moisturized and hydrated and you put on that nice satin pj set oh you're gonna feel like you're on a cloud okay who doesn't love a nice pajama set headphones oh my goodness i got about two or three different headphones right now i have the airpod pros i have the original airpods and I also have Beats <laughs> by Dre. I have the Studio Beats as well. When I tell y'all, over the head headphones, top tiers. And I know Apple has the AirPods Max over the head headphones. I don't really know how good of a quality they are. I have the Studio 3 Beats by Dre over the head headphones and those right there, top quality. I wear those to the gym and I don't hear nothing. I'm on a plane, I don't hear nothing. I don't hear anything. You can never go wrong with some headphones. If not, get them some wired headphones. They $20, especially the Apple ones that you can just plug up to your phone or your laptop. Get them that. I've been looking at an iPad for so long, especially the ones that have the pink one or the yellow one. I'm a little bit jealous of y'all who got the different color iPads they are so cute especially if you don't want to give them a laptop right away they will probably even be satisfied if you give them an iPad they are easy to travel with you don't have to worry about it being too bulky in your luggage either they're really small you can get the small ones or you can get the big ones if you want to go out and ball on them I would like the mini ones because they're really cute and I love the colors pink one and the yellow one those two I'm like mmm I don't know which one to get, but the colors 
is what's really making me want to get an iPad, honestly. It's really cute. And also, the iPad pen look cute too because you could just draw or write down notes and study, all that good stuff. So, you can never go wrong with an iPad. Laptops. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna say this. You don't have to give somebody a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, but you can. So I've had both and they're pretty good quality, especially if you're a college student. But if you guys want to have just like a regular, regular laptop, Dell, HP, or you can get you a Samsung laptop. Either way, whoever you're buying the laptop for, they're gonna be grateful for it because laptops are getting expensive these days. Apple watches, A. I know y'all probably thinking she got the whole Apple trifecta. The only thing I don't have y'all is an iPad, okay? But I do have an Apple Watch. I love it. It's never done me wrong. You can get the Garmin watches as well or the Samsung watches. Those are pretty cool too. But me, I'm an Apple Watch girly. Who doesn't want to have a watch? I mean, come on now. You can sync it. You can watch how you're working out. You can play music, call people, text people. You can use a walkie-talkie on your Apple Watch. The endless choices that you have with an Apple Watch. Digital camera. The camera that I'm using right now is a Canon M50 Mark II. And that's really nice to have if you want to start off as a beginner just photographer or YouTuber, vlogger. If you want another, just like a smaller version of a camera, another good one is the Canon GX7 Mark II. I love those as well. I was going to get that camera actually as my first vlogging camera, but they didn't have that available, so I have the M50 Mark II. Another good camera to have as a digital one, just to take pictures, is the Sony cameras as well. I love those, they're really nice. And the Nikon camera too. If you know somebody who is tired of taking pictures on their phones all the time, get them a digital camera, especially a nice quality one because that is going to really last for a long time and the only thing that you have to worry about if you're really into photography like that is the camera lenses. Kindles, if you have a fellow book lover like me, I'm a fellow book lover. Kindles are a good thing to have because I get tired of using my phone to read books all the time and Kindles they are really cute because you can get them in the paper white version or just like the regular Kindle version that's it you don't have to worry about books anymore you don't have to worry about downloading apps on your phone to read your books it's all on the Kindle it's really cheap to buy I think they're probably around under $200 if not $150 which is not bad for a lot of the technology stuff that I did mention on my wish list I'm kind of a Kindle right now for myself. I'm thinking about adding it to my wish list because Kindles look really nice about now because I get tired of looking at my phone and I feel like buying books or just getting books from the library, I don't have enough space anymore. So the Kindle, I feel like that'll suffice on my book collection. Speakers. You can never go wrong with gifting someone a speaker. Because and sometimes you don't have your headphones and you just want to play your music, especially when you get ready for work or just going out with your friends or just going on a date night. And I have the JBL speakers. Those speakers are loud, okay? And they're just like this big. Those speakers, they last a long time in terms of battery life. I've only probably had to charge them every every two days so that's not bad in terms of charging wise and they're really loud you may think that those speakers are small and don't have no bass in it oh it got bass it has some bass i've had my jbl speaker for almost four years now it's running strong it hasn't put out or just went down on me ever since another good speaker to have is the bose Speaker. I think that's how you pronounce it, Bose, Boss. I'm sorry y'all, but those are some good speakers as well. If you travel a lot, you wanna play some music. It's good to have if you travel a lot because you wanna bring the party with you, why not? Come on. Vinyl records, that's what I want for Christmas, especially Beyonce's vinyls. I want another Luther Vandross album and another Michael Jackson album because can't go wrong with Michael Jackson and Luther Vandross. Also, Brent Fayaz. I want all of his albums on vinyl. I feel like I need to finish up the collection. You can never go wrong with those. 
especially for a music lover. If you know what their music taste is like, make sure you get their favorite album, not just their favorite artist. Make sure it's an album that they like because if you buy me like a Tyler Creator album and I don't like Goblin, I'm gonna be like, why'd you buy me this? But I actually do like Goblin, so that wouldn't be a problem. But it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta make sure that if you're gonna buy them a actual vinyl, make sure it's their favorite album by that artist because you don't wanna waste their time. And I don't think they would want to have that record in their collection if that wasn't their favorite album, if you get what I'm saying. Ugh, boots. Okay, it's winter. Our feet don't need to be cold. I have some Ugg boots. They're really nice and I've had them in negative degree weather. They have kept my feet warm. I will say that I can attest to you guys right now, those Ugg boots that I got right now, two, three years ago, they are still holding strong. They have never let my feet down. My feet has been warm and cozy with those boots. Ugg slippers, the Ugg Tasman slippers. I love those. They're really cute because who don't like a good house slipper? Like, I probably won't even wear those outside the house. Those are probably gonna be my house shoes, honestly. And they look cute. They have so many different colors. I love the chocolate brown color of the Tasman slippers. They're really nice. So if you wanna get some for your mans, Get them some house shoes. The Ugg Tasman slippers are really nice. It looks good on us too, so we can get them ourselves. Y'all could be twinning for Christmas, but y'all matching PJs. See, I'm giving y'all some ideas. Can't say I'm not giving y'all some cute holiday ideas. Crocs, I know what y'all thinking. Girl, it's too cold to be wearing Crocs. Well, I know that, but you can get the Crocs that have fur in it, okay? And use them as house slippers. I love Crocs, I have a big, croc collection right now i want some more crocs for christmas i want some pink ones actually some pink ones and some green ones would go really nice to my collection i don't think i have any pink or green crocs because i know if i get white they're gonna just get dirty quickly and i don't want that so yeah some pink and green crocs will go really nice with my croc collection new balances i love those shoes they are a nice staple shoe and i tried some on a few months ago because i was debating on if i wanted to get those or not and it feels like i'm walking on a cloud with those i just realized that now those shoes were the ones that people used to make fun of of kids growing up back in my day and now they're becoming popular shoes and i'm just like since when is new balances 200 dollars like that's that's kind of crazy that's the same thing with like air force ones like who said that air force ones needs to be 200 dollars? that is absurd that is absurd like those shoes used to be under a hundred dollars and now both shoes are 200 plus like what no but you can never go wrong with some new balances their colorways are really nice and you can basically match up with any outfit with those shoes and they're comfortable. Puffer coat, my favorite type of puffer coats are the North Face ones. They look so warm, oh my goodness. I've been wanting a North Face puffer coat for so long, especially an all black one. Mm, that will go nice with a lot of my outfits for this winter and I'm always cold. I need me a thick puffer coat. We got blizzards where I'm at. And I know the North Face will help me survive in this winter. Who doesn't like a nice puffer coat? Like, they're so cute because you can always switch it up. It doesn't even have to be a North Face one. It could be the Canadian Goose. Those are really nice, but they are expensive too. But they last for a very long time. So North Face jacket, though, that's the one I want because I love an all black puffer coat. Gotta talk about bags, totes, purses, okay? You already know the first bag I'm gonna be talking about is the Tell Feezy, okay? I have a good collection of Telfar bags. Like, I have a small one, I have a medium one. The only kind that I don't have size-wise is the large. And I feel like the large, those are good travel bags to have. So, the possibilities are endless with Telfar and they're black owned. So, if you wanna support a black business, for this Christmas, go ahead and hit up Telfar because as of right now, Telfar is doing the thing. Like they have different designs. Like they just came out with a denim look. They have a patent leather 
type design as well. They also have duffel bags. They have like circle bags, like the high end luxury type bags as well. So the possibilities are endless with Telfar and I'm eyeing on a few Telfar bags myself. Like I love the circle bags and also their wallets that they came out this year as well. Those are really nice. I've been eyeing on those for a minute. Telfar is definitely on my Christmas list, especially the wallets because they're really nice. And I've had my Telfar bags for about two years now and they have not broke down or just look worn or used. So it's pretty durable. Well, I must say the medium sized bags, they've hold it on. They are pretty tough, okay? The quality is still nice just as I first got it. Like I said, you can never go wrong with getting a Telfar bag, okay? The Marc Jacobs tote, mm, I've been eyeing on this bag for a hot minute probably almost two years now. I like the all black one and it's cute that you get to customize the straps on the bags as well. And who doesn't like a nice tote bag? They're pretty spacious actually. I love to have a nice size tote. I've been wanting this tote bag, like I said before, two years. It's on my list. I wanna get it for this year. <laughs> Coach purses, oh my gosh. Coach has been stepping up their game in terms of their new purse designs. I like the tabbies as well. They have came such a long way in terms of the tabby design. They have so many different colors. And I love their little shoulder bag. It's like a cute monogram type shoulder bag. I like those, those are really cute. And they have nice charms that you can add with Coach bags as well. Another good purse that I love that is on my Christmas list is the Diesel purses diesel handbags they're really cute i love the hardware on it it's like a big d on it and they have so many designs i love the denim one and the all black handbag that they have really cute and it gives off that good like luxury type look and feel of their bag so diesel i'm on y'all y'all are on my list for this year in terms of handbags. Even though I don't need another handbag, I want one. <laughs> card holders, especially the luxury brand card holders. If the person that you are trying to give doesn't wear purses a lot, but they don't like wallets, get them a card holder. I love card holders. I actually have one right now. Sometimes I don't feel like putting my whole life in a purse. I just like having my card holder with me and I just go on about my day. I love card holders because I don't have to worry about it looking like a bulky wallet. I just have my things that I need and that's it. And I can put it in my pocket or I can put it in the smallest handbag that I have and I'm all set. The YSL card holders, those are really cute. If you love an all black look, I like those. Those are, that's actually the one that's on my Christmas list this year because it's really cute and I love the symbol on it with the gold on it it's really cute coach has card holders as well i love coaches card holders they're really cute and you can choose so many different colors with coaches card holders if you love going to the gym or if you know someone that loves going to the gym get them some workout clothes especially right now because i know that gymshark has a sale right now nike has a sale lululemon has a sale right now in terms of gym clothes gym bags anything the possibilities are endless so you can never go wrong with gifting someone or asking someone to get some workout clothes because who doesn't want to look cute while they're working out i know i do so if you look good you feel good and also a gym bag because why not let's step into the new year with a new gym bag a new water bottle just new everything some new pre-workout and some new other gym equipment that y'all might need for the gym so for all the gym rats the gym girlies the gym guys get them something good like workout clothes workout equipment for the gym i promise y'all they're gonna love it buying flight miles so this may vary okay depending on how much you travel a lot ask for some flight miles okay especially for the people that you know that travels a lot they gonna want some flight miles so it may be cheaper than buying them a ticket to their favorite destination or where they want to go to just buy them the miles like they're transferable it's cheaper than the actual ticket most airline companies and it's international so it doesn't have to be just united states 
flight miles alone. It's just worldwide. So it could be almost any major airline company that you travel with, whether it's in the United States or international. So you can never go wrong with some flight miles for Christmas. And last, but definitely not least, if you don't know what to buy somebody, Give them a gift card, whether it's for the favorite restaurant they like to go to, Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Chick-fil-A, Subway, I don't know, PlayStation, Xbox, Apple. Get them a gift card, cause nine times out of 10, they're gonna use that gift card. They get to spend it and buy whatever they want to with the gift card. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to comment what is going to be on your wish list for this year. And I will see you guys on the next Vlogmas video.